Shalomam. Kohala Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai Bahashem Rahakwadash, double honors to our teachers, the apostles, and the elders of Great Millstone. Peace, love, and salutations to the Hofi elects scattered throughout the four corners of the earth, teaching in truth, society, and diligence for the sake of Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Lord willing. This lesson may be edifying and straight to the point. Yeah, those immigrants making their way into America, man. You know, even from the Mexicans, Guatemalans, you know, those Latino uh, groups and even younger Chinese men uh, making their way into America, man. All these immigrants you see coming to America, you know, they can potentially cause mass destruction, man. Because hey, you got to think, these immigrants, they not operating under the same vibration as your Americans. Especially like the men here, you know, where you women have liberty to walk around half naked and men don't touch you, you know, because they feel what can happen. They feel the law. They feel your big brother, big cut, all the niggas you're going to call. Yeah, but you got a group of men, a large group of men that's coming over here. They don't operate under their vibration. They don't give a fuck about your cousin. They don't give a fuck about the police. They don't give a fuck about your daddy. You keep walking around America half naked, shaking ass, going to your car drunk, staggering all over the place. These immigrants going to get on your ass, man. You see? Because they not just coming over here for no reason, man. You know, these niggas is not operating under the vibration of peace that you is. They coming over here in haste. You know, they looking for a new life. And they feel they coming to some book. They feel they coming to a world. Of confusion, man. And it's going to best fit them. Because they already don't know what the fuck going on. You see? So when things pop off and things start happening. When these immigrants and these Americans encounter each other. It's always going to be some grievous, man. You see? And it's only going to intensify. Because when all hell break loose. You're going to have a bunch of niggas. Who don't belong over here. Going to be ravishing you fuckers, man. Running through you people. Yeah. And here it is. An article that popped up in the media. It says heartbreak, uh, heartbroken mom of women, 20, killed by MS-13 gang member who allegedly entered the U.S. Sin, uh, since fury message to Biden. If there was more, uh, if there was a more secure border, my daughter would still be alive. <laughs> you see? So here it is. An American that encountered an immigrant. A MS-13 immigrant. And we know the vibration that comes behind that term MS-13. All you can think of is rape, rob, and murder. Because that's the vibration them niggas operate in, man. Them niggas is killers. You see? And that's what's coming into America. Not only your MS-13, but you have a numerous of gangs. And you know how Issachar and the, the Northern Kingdom get down, man. You know? And they bringing that shit to America, man, which, hey, this is the land that's best fitted for that, man. Seeing that this is the land of death, the land of confusion. So it's only going to get more grievous, man. You see? And you women should be in the spirit of repentance, especially you so-called Negro, Latino, Native Indian women, which you the biblical Israelites, man. Hey, this is going to affect you because even with a man, a man can fight him off as long as, he, you know, a man can only fight so much, but you women... You women ain't going to be able to hold up a bargain, man. When these crazy ass, you know what I mean, Latino men get their hands on you. You already know how Issachar is, man. You know, Issachar be hot. You know, you can say how Issachar move around in America, man. How Issachar be having that, that lusting eye. So imagine when the immigrants come over here and see how you American women just prance around in your leggings. And your workout clothes, you're all downtown, you're all out, all times of night riding scooters and leggings and revealing clothes. Well, when they get their hands on you, you know, it's going to bring a sense of urgency to your Americans. You see, real quick, this is the book of uh, Isaiah, chapter 32 and verse 9. It says, rise up, you women. That are at ease. Hear my voice, ye careless daughters. Give ear unto my speech. You see, many days and years shall ye be troubled, ye careless women. Yeah, you see, because the America that you used to is not going to always be this way, man. You finna come into a new norm, which this norm is going to be sending around perilousness. 
a perilous vibration in the earth, which that word perilous goes into danger and risk. That's going to be your everyday life, man. You're going to get more comfortable with the spirit of fear. You're going to get more comfortable with the spirit of alert. <laughs> you know, you're not going to always be in that spirit of ease because of the turmoil that's going to be taking place here. So, yeah, the Lord calling for uh, uh for you to rise up, man. Yeah, you got to put your antennas up, man. Ain't no more in that docile spirit walking around like you don't know what the fuck going on. No, many days and years should you be troubled, you careless women. For the vengeance should fail, the gathering should not come. Yeah, ain't nobody going to feel it continually coming to help you women, man. You want to say fuck these niggas. You want to be under the fuck nigga free vibration of... I don't need a man. I'm a strong, independent woman. I got three degrees. Well, look, we're going to see if you can reason your degrees with a immigrant. When this nigga hiding his pants and he looking at you with your leggings on, you know, and he don't know shit about a 911. He don't know how fast they come. He going to do his business and he going to get the fuck on, man. You see? Yeah, the gathering ain't going to come. He said, tremble, ye women that are at ease. Be trouble, ye careless ones. Strip you and make you bare and gird sackcloth upon your loins. Yeah, you got to come into a new vibration. You got to take off that vibration of ease and, you know, hot girl summer. And you need to take on a whole new vibration, which is being under that spirit of mourning. Which, in, in mourning, the heart is made better, man. You take on a more serious approach. You got to look at life through more, uh, through more serious lenses, man. Because this is not just a life of ease, man. No, you living in America, the most dangerous place in the scriptures, man. The most wickedest kingdom of every erect in the power. And if the people can't see the weakness, it's because they just as wicked, man. So this is the land that you're living in and you at ease here. All hell could potentially break loose at any moment. You know, you living amongst the most devout creatures that's upon the face of the earth, Americans. These motherfuckers are brute beasts. And here it is, you having more spirits, the best fit America, to come over here, man. And they're going to cause even more chaos and destruction, man. And they're going to break your ease for the lack of better terms, man. So you so-called Negro, Latino, Native Indian women, it'll be best for you to repent and remember the Lord in the days of our youth. You see? Because you're not going to always have this message. Hey, and the gathering is going to cease, man. Yeah, you're not going to always have people to call to come to your rescue. You see? And you're going to have men out here that's going to be violating you women, man. Grievously, man. You know? Real quick, let me see if I can find this. Uh, Lamentations. Yep, Lamentations chapter 5 and verse... Uh, let's see, verse 11. He said, they ravish the women in Zion. See? You so-called Negro, Latino, Native Indian women. This is the vibration that's for the take hold of the planet Earth. Also amongst these men. In which men in this society are already sex deprived. They're already frustrated. And their eyes is already set to take you women. But it's the law that's keeping these niggas contained. But once the law, once the vengeance fail... You're going to be in, man, you're going to be in, you ain't, you're not going to be at ease. You're going to be in uh, in torment, man. You know, that's why the Lord tell you to rise up, you women are at ease. Yeah, you better take heed now. Because once that shit happen, it's going to, man, that shit going to be bad, man. You women are going to fear to come outside. And it's going to be scary to be in, in, inside as well, man. Yeah, you done, women get off on enticing men in this society. You, you don't think these niggas know where you live at? Your neighbors watching you and shit. All hell break loose. They're going to come to you, man. <laughs> you see? He said they ravish the women in Zion and the maids and the cities of Judah, you see? So mainly, you so-called Negro, Latino, Native Indian women, you biblical Israelite women, they're going to mainly be coming for you, man. Yeah, you got a freak out there with your name on it. You know? Uh, multiple freaks, man. You see? And if you don't know your how about Shema, I shot a God of the Bible, which is your power, you're going to get overtook out here, man. And it's going to be more accounts of MS-13 or immigrants, period, killing off you American women, man. You see? And you've been under the vibration of saying, fuck men so long that you think that you some type of power in the earth. Well, the men ain't going to want to help your ass, man. They, the men going to get off on watching you get your ass handed to. You see? And it's not going to be no help for you, man. You see, real quick. 
Where is that? Uh, yep, this is Second Ezra 16 and verse 33. He said, the virgin shall mourn having no bridegroom. The women shall mourn having no husbands. You see, the daughters shall mourn having no helpers. You see, and this is going to, and it's going to actually come a time where having a man is going to be a, 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 a plus one, man. You see, because now you have somebody to fight off these fuckers, man. You know, to, have, uh, to keep you protected. Nigga got a game plan. You know, he know how to maneuver. He know what spirit you should be in. He telling you what and what not to do, what time and what time, what time and what not to go out. You know, you're going to need a man with a level head. You see, but you saying fuck niggas, ain't nobody going to want you. So you're going to be left out there to deal with this shit on your own, man. You see, lest you repent and return to Yahweh Hashem Yahweh with a, a humbleness of mind and contrite spirit, man. Because the evils is coming. They're going to increase. And you're seeing the chess pieces being moved for these things to take place, man. You see? And we just kind of give you warning to you so-called Negro, Latino, and Native Indian. Hey, men, women, and children, man. Because this is going to affect a lot. You even got certain immigrant women that's come across those boys that's going to be sending you niggas up just for their family to eat, man. You know, for their husband to eat. Nigga kill you and they eat you, man. This shit really finna be taking place. You know? That's why, hey, it's, it, hey, it's high time to wake out of our sleep, man. And come back to the Lord. Y'all about to shake the shit. is about to get real in America, man. You know? But, um... Yeah, let's just get this. Second Ezra 16 and 18. Matter of fact, started verse 17. He said, what was me? What was me? Who would deliver me in those days? You see, because ultimately, knowing the report, yeah, it's a scary thing. You know, the flesh kick in. You're like, damn, who the fuck going to deliver me? But, hey, the spirit, you got to be in the spirit, man. You how about you, I was shy. Hey, just quit testing. Man. I had a dream not long ago, probably like a few nights ago, man, that a damn a, a, a Latino man was outside on my porch, man. And, you know, this nigga had tattoos all on his face and shit. You know, and I was looking at the window, looking at this nigga, and he was like in an angry, you know, he was in angry motion telling me that he finna come in there, man. Like, I'm finna, I'm finna come in there. You know, so I go and I lock the doors and shit, you know, and somehow this nigga still end up getting in the house, you know? And it, it was like a, it was like a real, like the shit felt real, you know, and like the flesh kicked in. I'm like, oh shit, this nigga in the fucking house. And he's shaking the door and shit. You know, but the only thing that my spirit was, uh, it was, you, you know, Yahweh Shah was in my spirit, bro. Like, the spirit kept telling me to scream Yahweh Shah as if, like, I I felt like power was for to come out. You know, if that nigga would have opened the door, you know, and it was like, shit, at that point, all I had was Yahweh Shah. You know, because it wasn't like I had a gun or anything with me. So it was like, you know, this just in a dream. You know, but in my mind, I was screaming, yeah, I was shining, and shit kind of just ceased. You know, and then I woke up, and I was, it was vivid. I'm like, oh, shit. You know, but it just showed me in the spirit, hey, yeah, I was shot, man. Because even in, in, the, in the height of that moment, when shit was just ramped up, and you went, it was the height of the moment, yeah, I was shot was coming out so forcefully in my mind. Like, yeah, I was shot, yeah, I was shot. And everything pretty much ceased. You know, the nigga kind of went away. And then he stopped shaking the door, and then I just woke up. And that was the end of it, man. You see, but, hey, Yahweh Shah is who you're going to need to know, man, because that's who's going to bring that that, that, hey, that vibration of deliverance, man. Yeah, he is a deliverer, man. You know, he's going to deliver you out of certain situations. You see? That's why you need to know Yahweh Shah, the God of the Bible, you so-called Negro, Latino, Native Indian women, men, women, and children, man, because great turmoil is about to unfold on the planet Earth. You see, but hey, I just want to touch on that through the spirit power. How about Shema Oshah, Lord, when it was edifying to the elect, to those seeking salvation, Lord, Lord, Yahweh Oshah. As always, going on, going praise to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Oshah, Bahashem, Rahakodash, Lord, willing to this video, say Shalom.